Mexican Herbal Medicine 500 years ago. Mexico ranks second in the world in taxonomic richness of medicinal plants, with 4,500 herbs to cure the energy body, the spiritual body, the mental body, and finally the physical body. China ranks first with 5,000. The richness of Mexican herbal medicine is explained by the millenary presence of dozens of cultural groups such as the Mexicas, Purépechas, Totonacos, Huicholes, Tarahumaras, Mazatecos, Mixtecos, Zapotecos, Sotziles, Celtales, and the Mayas. Just to mention a few of the 56 ethnic groups, Mexico currently has about 10 million people who speak some 60 indigenous languages. Mexico also has one of the greatest richness in biodiversity worldwide, since we have almost all the ecosystems registered on a planetary level. Half of our territory has the desert vegetation, the Cerophilus scrubland, the temperate climates with pine oak vegetation in all the mountain chains that run throughout the Republic, and the rainy tropical climates with the high and medium rainforests of the Mexican Southeast. Texcoco was the headquarters of the first botanical garden of medicinal plants in the world, specialized in the scientific research of herbal medicine, both for the use and study of wild plants, as well as the study of medicinal herbs cultivated in irrigated and rained plots. In addition to the development and manufacture of herbal medicines in the Calmecac of medicine, the mountain of Tecutzingo, Calmecac is equivalent to the current universities, such as the Chapingo Autonomous, since the time of King Nezahualcoyotl, Tlatuani of the Kingdom of Texcoco, who lived from 1402 to 1472, to whom its foundation is attributed, and for that reason, the Chapingo Autonomous University, through the University Program of Medicinal Plants, in 2010 proposed and celebrated the National Day of Herbalism, the day of his birth, on April 28th of each year. 500 years ago, and now also, the medical appointment began with the harmonization of the energy centers, known as chakras, and which together are known as the human aura, through an energetic cleaning known as cleaning ritual, with aromatic plants, then proceeded to the consultation on the spiritual, mental, emotional and physical state of the body and based on the symptomatology and the perception of the healer. Medicinal plants were prescribed and prescribed. It was and is also frequent to recommend the detoxification of the spiritual body, the mental body and finally the detoxification of the physical body through the ceremonial steam bath known as the mascal, a technique of rebirth during which rameadas, small taps with aromatic plants on the body, were and are applied to stimulate circulation and profuse sweating, with an average of 1 liter of sweat per 15 minutes. Both techniques of traditional Mexican indigenous medicine are already recognized in the general health law of Mexico and are already operating 16 integral hospitals, which are part of the national health system of the Federal Health Secretariat. In the integral hospitals, one part of the hospital works with allopathic doctors and an allopathic pharmacy and another part of the hospital works with healers who prescribe Mexican herbal medicine bone healers, midwives, and each hospital has a pharmacy based on herbal remedies that the healers themselves manufacture during some weekends. Current allopathic medicine is the daughter of herbal medicine. Aspirin began as a tea from the bark of the willow tree, hence the name of the active molecule, acetyl salicylic acid, salicylic of the taxonomic genus Salix because the scientific name of the willow is Salix officinalis. In a tea of willow, there are more than 100,000 different molecules and therefore it has no side effects. In a tablet of aspirin, there is only one molecule, the acetyl salicylic acid, and because of that chemical purity, it became a very risky medicine, 
because 30% of the production of ulcers in the stomach of humans worldwide is due to the frequent consumption of this type of allopathic medicines, which have become even more dangerous because since the 60s, plants are no longer used to manufacture them, but the molecule is manufactured artificially in a pharmaceutical laboratory, known as synthetic medicines. Not resorting to plants to elaborate current medicines, we consider it one of the worst mistakes in the modern history of mankind, since allopathic doctors all over the planet frequently ask themselves, what will be worse, the side effects of the medicine or the disease? The most important plant that Mexico has given to the world is undoubtedly the Mexican Barbasco, Dioscorea Mexicana and Dioscorea Composita, prescribed by the midwives of Veracruz for the discomfort of menopause, the sweet potato poultice on the belly for an hour in the morning and another at night. This plant manufactures the molecule diosgenina, chemically very similar to the sexual hormones of women, progesterone and estrogens, and very similar to the hormone of men, testosterone. The human organism uses this molecule as raw material for the manufacture of sexual hormones. In the concentration that is biologically required, from this knowledge the contraceptive pill was developed, starting the sexual revolution at a planetary level. Women all over the world could decide whether or not to have children, when to have them and how many. Also, now the pills are very risky, since Barbasco is no longer used as raw material. Now they are synthetic, there are studies that relate them to breast cancer. We started activities in Chapingo in 1980. In these years we have verified at an experimental level and through clinical observations in volunteer patients the knowledge of the wise Mexican healers, the toad with, in the magistral formulas have a ski PC300 and R250, dissolves the fat deposits of the arteries of the heart and brain and that of the vital organs such as liver, lungs, brain, etc. Cancerina and Coachalalate. U300 heals duodenal and stomach ulcers. Wasima and Warumbo. D250 and Wasuma. Reduce blood glucose levels and Wasima also stimulates insulin production. Hence I, N100, reduces stress, relaxes nerves, improves sleep quality and reduces Parkinson's symptoms. Citrus seed extract, Citricant 30, rich in coumarins, reduces the reproduction of viruses such as COVID-19. The fluid extract of bitter chaparro, amargo and the infusion of Prodigiosa Pro 100 reduces the proliferation of various types of pathogenic bacteria, to cite a few examples of our research.